What's up, ladies, gentlemen, and every gender identity in between? Ashley's back, and it is such a great week. It's a great week for so many reasons, not necessarily for couponing deals too much. Uh, the couponing deals are a little weird this week. They're a little slow. They're either um, not as good as we've gotten them before. Like They're like, oh, you know, these U bar Kotex pads are only 79 cents this week. And I was like, I just got those for 16 cents two weeks ago. So like sometimes the deals are deals, but not always a deal. You have to like weigh your options and go, you know what? I got that a better price a couple weeks ago and I have quite enough. I don't need to add to my stockpile by overspending on something that I already got for cheaper, right? <laughs> But that's not the case with penny shopping because the only thing cheaper than penny shopping is free, which I also love to do, so don't worry about that. We have a new week of public seals that just came out with the BOGOs, so of course we have a video coming up on some public steals. But today I wanted to keep talking about penny shopping. That might be a little bit of like a turn. My dog has a cone on his head because he can't stop biting his fur off. He used to... <laughs> He just knocked like every, he, he's very clumsy right now with his cone on his head. He's clumsy all the time, but he's definitely clumsy now. Just a bunch of male remotes. All right, hold on. Before we get to anything, number one rule of penny shopping is don't talk about it. Don't talk about it at all. We're talking about it right now, but that's because you and I are super cool, right? <laughs> We're chill. We're cool. Me and the Dollar General employee are not going to talk about penny shopping. Do you need any help looking for anything? No. Are you doing all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. Leave me alone. Like, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't go in asking if they have any pe penny sales. Don't go in asking where the purple dot items are. Um, if they have any penny sales, uh, where are the penny items? Can you price check this? Do not price check it. Do you know what happens when you ask for a price check? The cashier changes the price. That's why you need the DG Go app. Don't say anything. Bring it up. Go, yeah, that's a penny. Put it in your cart. If it's in your cart, it's intended for purchase. So go up with confidence after you use your app or you cross-reference the UPC from our penny list. And then you go, yep, that's a penny. Walk up with confidence and don't say anything just ring up the items if you just ring up the items you'll see they scan penny 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 that'll be five cents ma'am probably with that exact tone and not like eye contact but it's fine because <laughs> you just got five things for a penny but don't talk about it do not get a price check don't do any of that like dollar general employees are known to change stuff like this because they go oh that's that's my fault. I didn't take that off the floor. So don't talk about it, guys. It's like Fight Club. Don't go in asking about things. Don't ask for a price check. Just do your own work. Do, do your own research and make sure you go in with confidence knowing what you need. And that's why we're here. We're here to guide you in the right direction towards the deals and the, the magical treasures that is in Dollar General. I love it. Anyways, <laughs> I might I might start penny shopping a lot more. This uh, channel might kind of rear, it's a money saving channel regardless. Y'all already know that. Y'all know we don't like to spend money on anything. But the cool thing about penny shopping is it's basically like free stuff and it's brand new. Like you don't even have to worry about it being like a garage sale or someone already like used it or something or another. No. The best thing about, look, food. <laughs> This penny list was so great, guys. I already told you all about it in my last two videos. The Swiss Miss was on there, so that was super awesome. I was able to find some more. It, they're always behind um, the new ones. The new ones that have the red mug on them, not this white mug right here. You see how it has like a pasture in the back. It's got clouds. This logo is completely different. And then uh, it says, it says, we use real milk from Wisconsin right there in the corner, but the mug is just white. If that's like an easy, it's the, the logo is completely different, but the mug is red on the new ones. But they're like, I kept finding these behind other ones. And this is again, the third day, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? So third day, you would think that like other penny shoppers in my area would have found certain stuff by now, but they haven't. And like, just to prove this fact, I kept looking around and looking around and where'd they go? 
Oh, I think, no, they're right here. No. Oh no, I left those in my car because I'm gonna donate them. Um, I found the shredded beef and the uh, pulled pork from like two, three penny lists ago, maybe two weeks ago. Like I just, I'm, I'm loving it because like I said, I quit penny shopping a couple months back. So I went back and saw what I had missed and I kept an eye out for those things in the store because like I said, the penny items, they stay a penny most of the time for a while and I only penny shop the stores that have DG Go so I can price check before I get up to the register. Now the place that I found the um, I found three boxes of the Swiss Miss behind the new Swiss Miss. So really they, they just put the new stock behind, like in front of the old stock. So I just pulled the old stock out. And there we are, all of my penny items were just ready to go. Same thing with the beef. They put different beef in front of the shredded beef. Found one of those, found one of the pulled porks, again, behind the new items with like, they have special barbecue sauce or something they're putting on it now. I don't care, regardless. You guys, like, make sure you guys look at old penny lists so that you can make sure that you're able to get the best deal because there's a lot of clothing that is still a penny right now. We haven't had penny lists with clothing on it for a little bit, but uh, the awesome thing, gosh, it's so hot in Florida, I hate it. But like the, the cool thing is, is that there's a lot of items that are still a penny. It's like, it's so awesome. I'll have to find all of the numbers for you guys, but this one is FW18. FW18 and FW17, it is a blue and gray dot that you're gonna be looking for. So this is a blue dot right here size 3x like I'm gonna donate these obviously but um FW 18 and it's a blue dot so FW 18 and FW 17 these are gonna be fall and winter clothes from uh, 2017 and 2018 you're gonna want to keep an eye out for these because I found jeans for a penny and they were right next to all of the clothes that they had lined up for 2019 they just pushed all the stuff to the side they missed one like one set of pants but they missed them. And that was at the same place that I got the, the roast beef that got pushed to the side, um, or sorry, the shredded beef that got pushed to the side, all that kind of stuff. Uh, keep an eye out for clothing. It's a little bit difficult right now because they just put out the fall and winter 2019 stuff. They're putting that stuff out now. And they still have the uh, spring summer 2019 stuff out. And the stuff that is going to Penny is going to be from summer 2017, I believe. So it's like two years ago. You gotta look out for that kind of stuff. If your store's a mess, like this one was though, I found some good stuff, absolutely. But the, I like, the, the, the stuttering obviously I'm very excited this was not just a bragging video I promise I'm not just here to brag I'm here to tell you guys about some of the hidden stuff that's on there so I actually I told you guys already about the McCafe this was um kind of on the same list as the Swiss Miss but the McCafe the French vanilla uh curry k-cups I don't have one of these either I'm probably gonna donate these or give them to one of my friends that ha does have them but um the McCafe French Vanilla. Let me give you guys just another good shot of it. These are going to be a penny. The French Vanilla ones only. You better believe I climbed up on a ladder to get this. And this is the only one I got from the store. It was the only penny I got from the store. But I found it, again, all the way up, all the way back. You guys, like, it's like a scavenger hunt. You really have to make sure that you look high and you look low and behind stuff because that's where you find the treasures like this. This was one of the items that actually wasn't even on the penny list. It uh, came out a little bit after because you, you get the penny list, you know the items that are gonna be on it, you know the items that followed the penny because of the clearance and all that, but not all of them are on there sometimes. You'll go in and you'll find a surprise penny. This is gonna be one of the surprise pennies. It's a Clover Valley Cafe Blend Medium Roast Coffee. Now, this is also one of the K-Cups that um, you put in the little machine. Again, I don't have one of these. I'm probably gonna donate this for sure. Or I, I, My mom might have it, she probably does. She's like middle class and white, so I'm sure she has a Keurig machine that she just never uses. Um, but regardless, those are a penny. They're a penny. Um, it's a cafe blend. These I found in a box that was on the floor. They had the stock for the um, the like drink packs, like the Crystal Light and stuff like that. And this was just sitting on top. Like like they put it out just for me. They were ready for me to come and take that. And I found some little sprigs there too of grass. I'm sorry, I said this wasn't going to be a brag video, but I'm just really excited about some of the hidden things that I've been finding that aren't just purple dot items because I did find, um, of course, some more decorative spring stuff. I didn't find any more boxes, but I found like, um, flowers in a vase and stuff. The reason I wanted to do this video, si I'm sorry. I love the things that I found and I'm getting way too sidetracked. 
and I'm obviously drinking an energy drink, so I'm a little too high, high powered right now. But the reason I wanted to make this video is a new penny list came out today. No, not like, not like more items or it is more items, but no, not more items for next Tuesday's penny list. I'm not talking about the penny list came out for next week. These are items that are penny today, right now, right now. And I, I didn't get it. I didn't see the new list until I was halfway through with my shopping today. And I was like already gone away from that place that ha had the clothing and the beef and I wasn't even near there anymore. And I was like, oh, man, like I, I bet I could have found some, uh, some of the new penny items on there. The cool thing about surprise penny items is they weren't, they probably weren't in the email that the managers got or they were things that uh, they just got an email about like last night or this morning. So you, you better run there like right now because right now is when the employees are gonna get that list and then start pulling the things. So you need to run and pull all the pennies that you can. And it's actually a really great list this time. It's like, um, they have like some com uh, combat ant killing bait. There is um, a mist belt. It's gonna be one of those uh, waist restrictor belts that I think probably like helps you burn calories or something like that, or maybe it's just like a little Spanx kind of belt. Uh, regardless, that's a penny. There's a bunch of toys that are, have just penny, like there's a, Le a Lisa Frank sticker kit, um, some more stickers, some to uh, toy bracelet kind of stuff. Uh, now, it's, it's kind of difficult. You have to make sure that you know what you're looking for. And I'm just gonna make sure that we know what we're talking about. I'm gonna make sure that, like I'm very exact with what I'm telling you guys about. So there's a Duracell uh, phone charger that's for your car that attaches to the car. Um, that's also going to be a penny. We have uh, like a nail file that's like automated. It's a lot of like um, as seen on TV kind of stuff or um, CD and DVD like casing and stuff. Um, very odd things. Oh, and nail polish. Uh, the LA Colors, there's certain ones of those that are going to be a penny. So you just wanna make sure that you uh, look up this penny list. You can find it on the freebieguy.com. You can find it on, um, on another YouTube, that fucking bug, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to curse, but like that bug needs to chill out. I hate Florida. Um, Sorry, Powered by Coupons. Powered by Coupons is run by another YouTuber. Her name is Krista Coupons and she's fantastic. Um, if you guys really wanna learn a lot about penny shopping, she's a really great person to go learn from. Um, I can teach you some stuff too, but she's got years and years and years and years and years of experience. So uh, definitely go check her out if you guys are trying to get super into it. But it's like uh, Tux Black, the LA colors and nail polishes are gonna be Tux Black, Hot Hot Pink, Lux Red, Pop White, Sly Nude, Neon Orange, Neon Green, Fab Coral. There's like so many. So like, you know, you know, nail polish like displays are never organized ever. So you can go get like, like all everyone that has little kids that like to just like destroy nail polish or smash it on the floor or whatever. Go get some like, well, I mean, maybe you shouldn't give them nail polish anymore if they're smashing it on the floor, but go get that. It's like, they're literally just like, they like painting their nails. They're like little and that's perfect. And they're only a penny. Hey Bowie, do you want to come back in the room? Sometimes dogs are like having children, I swear. Hold up. Bowie, just because I'm on the video doesn't mean you can go in the other room. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy. I'm back. I have a really cute dog. <laughs> He's really sweet and obedient. He just likes to explore. But oh my goodness, so it, there is a lot of toys. There's a lot of toys on here. There's a lot of electronics. Um, so please make sure I'll, I'll post a list for you guys for sure. Um, of course I'll like link the people that gave me this list and all that, but, um, gosh, there's just so many great things. I love penny shopping and honestly, I might start doing that a little bit more. The reason I was really focusing on that this week is because even though with couponing, the goal is to not spend money or not spend a lot of money. Sometimes you don't have any money. I only had money for gas. I drive a car that's pretty great on my gas mileage. So I'm able to like run around town and it not really cost me that much money. So that's really great. But I was able to just like shop and shop and shop and shop and shop all day and literally I still haven't spent a dollar. I still haven't spent a dollar yet. I've probably maybe spent like 40, no, maybe not even 40 cents, 40 cents maybe with all the boxes. Um, gosh, he's in the other room again. I'm not dealing with it anymore. <laughs> 
like the mom thing where you just like give up on trying to like police your children. Yeah, it's like where I am. But um, definitely keep a lookout for uh, some of the food items. Again, even past food items, like the, the beef that I found was from two weeks ago. So these people had two weeks to get this off the shelf and other penny shoppers had two weeks to go into the store and get them. Same thing with those pants. Those pants have been a penny for months, months. And I just happened to go, wait, and then I was like, yep, it's a penny. <laughs> but this is definitely gonna probably be a new thing. This is gonna be a little bit consistent. I hope you guys are cool with it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are learning things and maybe I'm even inspiring you guys to actually go, that bug's back, <laughs> to go out and penny shop. Like it's it's such a blast. And, and the reason it's really great to do it at uh, Dollar General is because like I mentioned before, they have a policy. Not all stores have a policy. A lot of stores do have penny items, but that does not mean that they have to sell them to you. If it rings up for a penny at Dollar General, their policy is they have to sell it to you. The policy literally says it is not the customer's fault that the employees neglected to pull those penny items off the shelf. If you found it and you intend to purchase it, you, they have to sell it to you for the price it rings up as. Which is why if you guys have stores that have the app DG Go, it is so important important that you use this and utilize it while you're penny shopping. I understand it's not the, it's not like that in all areas, which is why it's really great to go find penny lists through uh, Google. Make sure your sources are legitimate. Cross-reference them to make sure that the items match up on all of the lists because sometimes um, like even uh, general managers and like from stores and stuff like that will send out false penny lists to try to trick you, which is hilarious. <laughs> And then, but like it's also like oh you think we don't know you think we don't know people you don't you think we don't have the good like good sources and stuff like that like please but I mean like even I just like the clothing was really the thing that shocked me that I was able to find today because like like I said that clothing's been a penny for months apparently no one that was a 3x came in and needed jeans so um Definitely go to Dollar General like right now, guys. Like right now, there's like so many new things. It's like 30 new items that just came out that pennies. So in addition to all of the purple home dots, those, okay. Oh, side note, side note about the purple dots. Like I know I'm all over the place today, but side note about the purple dot home items. I had someone comment on uh, my video from yesterday. They said they went up to the register with one of the um, over, overstuffed, overfilled something like that uh pillows they went up to the register and they said that they were full priced and i did mention that pillows were um part like it was part of the home good home decor kind of um stuff that was penning but the thing i'm sorry i'm trying to find the exact pillow that they have more than likely um bought there's like a picture that's saying hey don't buy this one somewhere um but that's that's just the thing though is that not not everything is going to penny all the time that's just how it is um every time some like a whole all all the yellow dots all the square whatever every time it pennies there's always a couple items that are going to be excluded there are always going to be a couple items that will be excluded okay um unfortunately those pillows were one of them trust me i got very excited they were one of the first things that i found when i went penny shopping on tuesday morning it was one of the first things that i saw and i literally was like oh my gosh i'm sorry and then i went oh like i should have known honestly but that's why i use my dg go scanner so that i don't go up to the register and find out that they weren't a penny um i'm sorry you I'm sorry that happened. I, I wish I had been a little bit more clear. Um, oh, here we are. Here's a picture. Um, so more than likely you got the overfilled standard queen bed pillow or the quilted standard bed pillow. Both of those pillows, the overfilled and the quilted, they both have purple dots on them. One is like $6 or they're both eight or something like that. Um, they're, they're excluded, unfortunately. The the ones that are included though, it's they're, they're, they're also purple dot pillows. It's gonna be the Zen Rest and the High Loft. High Loft and Zen Rest are going to be penny. Uh, I'm sorry, the overfilled or the quilted was probably the one that you found. Um, sorry, but um, I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun, like looking for the new stuff. Um, again, 
Remember to go out and look for, I'm just dropping everything. Remember to go out and look for those new penny items that just came out today. There's like, there's literally 30 items that came out and I, I thought that was so crazy. And I just was like, I was so frustrated that like, I was halfway through like going around all the stores on the other side of town when I found out that all this had come out. So I was like, I need to make a video so you guys know too. Um, some other surprise penny items other than the ones, I'm gonna post all of this in the description down below. So like you, I mean, listen to me if you want, but don't if like this is like ridiculous to you. But um, the McCafe, not only the French vanilla pods that I found, but the espresso roast. That is going to be something that we actually didn't even know was going to penny. It's a surprise penny. The McCafe espresso roast, the 12 count pods. The Clover Valley Cafe ones, that was the one that I found that was a surprise. We found out after this, even after the surprise, surprise pennies, we found surprise pennies and then now we have surprise, surprise, surprise pennies that just came out today. But these cafe pods were also uh, part of the new one and the coffee mate uh, caramel macchiato. The caramel macchiato um, creamer from Coffee Mate is going to penny. That's another surprise penny I'm really excited about. So, I don't know. I'm getting attacked by bugs, but I had a great day of penny shopping. Guys, all right, so go down below, look in the description, go find all the new penny items that just came out today. It's gonna be like car chargers and toys for your kids and a lot of nail polish. Uh, look for some beef, look for some coffee crap while you're there, and maybe even some plus size jeans. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely some spring stuff too, because I, I found so many purple dot spring items still, um, three days after they pennied and I'm still finding great stuff. I think I found like 20 items just today. So definitely go to your Dollar General and see if anything is a penny. See you guys on the next one. Bye.